Was he drunk? <laughs> Not at the time. <laughs> okay. That's very sweet. Um, you know what? I, I, I can't take credit for it because it's just, I think the material really had such a beautiful heartbeat, you know? And I think as an actor, you try to just be as authentic as possible to the material. And, and, and Akiba really gave us really great material to work with. You know, I, I hate overusing the word original, but I just, I, I felt like it was really original and different and, and I was very excited to go and, and, and try and tell this story to, my, to the best of my ability. So I think there's always going to be great heart when you uh, throw the human condition into, into something that, that can maybe surprise people, like a superhero movie, you know. And, and I think that the kind of that human flaw layer that we have in there with him and, and with Mary having to kind of, you know, not choose, but kind of be stuck in this world with, with, you know, a great husband and a superhero. And, I mean, it was just this kind of very surreal, beautiful, messed up Greek mythology, Romeo and Juliet, Shakespearean thing. And, and so I just really tried to celebrate that. Not that much, but I helped him out, you know. I tried to pick up the slack. Um... Because, you know, he's just kind of breaking through right now. You know, I think he's going to have an okay career. Not too many people know about uh, Will Smith right now, but, but I think this movie's going to change his career. You know, I think, I think he's going to be okay after this. I'm going to help him out. Yeah, I mean, look, Pete, uh, Pete Berger, our director, I think that's, that's su it's such a Pete style. That's how he works. You know, I, I've never, ever done a film where the camera never cut. I mean, he just doesn't cut. The, the camera's just constantly rolling in there, the camera. There's like five cameras, you know, and they're rolling all the time, and there's no marks, and you can basically do anything, you know, and... Um, you know, halfway through a scene, he'll be yelling something at me and, and Will and I would be looking at each other and then the scene would just completely, you know, do... It's, it was just a constant uh, um, surprise. There was always this element of surprise. And, and, you know, I'm not really familiar with that genre or that way of working and, and so I really have to... I'm incredibly grateful to have been working with Will and Jason who have this, you know, this natural ability to have great comedic timing and... I just kind of sat in the middle, you know, frightened, you know, while all the cameras were rolling. And But now I watch the film and I just realized that that was the only way we could have made this film. And I think that's how Pete left his fingerprint on this film. And I think that very rarely happens today as well with, with these kind of films, you know. I feel like he made this because of the way that he shoots. He made this film very original. I don't know. I mean, why is it that we want to believe that there's a God? Or, you know, why is it that, that, that there's, there's maybe a comfort that we're... Why is it that we, we are inspired by great leaders? I, I think because it's part of the human condition. I think, um, I think it makes us better people to know that there's maybe somebody... Well, not Hancock, because he's drunk. But, <laughs> um, but, like, when he sobers up... Uh, I think there's something, especially with what Akiva did by throwing this kind of Greek mythology to it, you know, that there's something in that storytelling that I think people relate to, and it's it's uplifting. It's There's something about somebody who can do something great, whether it's, you know, uh, saving the world like a superhero or saving the world by, you know, talking to people in an inspiring way that I think the human condition needs.